Hi guys! So finally today I'm filming my lipstick collection. I filmed one like a couple of months ago but then my lipstick collection has grown more and more each day. So I thought just why not make a new one rather than uh, make like an updated lipstick collection and whatnot. So thank you guys for waiting patiently for this video to be up. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's head up to the lipstick collection. Bye! So starting off with my two and only acrylic lipstick holder. This one is my lip gloss lipstick holder and this is my high-end uh, lipstick holder. So starting off with this, this is my only lip gloss that I will ever wear. I guess this is all from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline lip polish. I own all of it because I am freaking obsessed. Here I have Glam 1, Glam 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Glam 7. I don't know if there's Glam 8 or not, but this is Glam 9. This is Pop 5 and this is Pop 6. This is my favorite color. This is Pop 6. This is the red color. Uh, and then the applicator is like this and the color is just so gorgeous it does not feel sticky at all like most of lip gloss and it just feels smooth on your lips and it's just feel so hydrating which i really really love i mean it's it's a bit sticky but it's not like crazy sticky like most lip gloss would give you and behind here i just have two of the pink alert lipstick that i got from an event this one is the one that i just bought recently i have one in uh pink alert number two and number four if you guys want a swatches of it of this and all that you can just let me know and i would happy to do so and then moving on to the high-end lipstick holder as you can see i have a lot of mac lipstick just because i'm like really obsessed with the color and behind here i have two of the bobby brown lipstick from the upper pinks collection so anyway i flipped it for you guys so i can tell you guys what's the name of it because i remember the um the arrangement of the lipstick is just that I don't remember the name and I forgot that I have like one more lipstick that I got from the uh, All About Pinks the all-in-one box thingy and this is matte embrace uh, that I got from the All About Pinks box so yep so over here I have actually I have a lot of matte lipstick this one is matte all fired up this is lickable. Here I have the swatches for you guys. Let me just show the swatches. This is matte all fired up. This is something that I, I, because this one is like a retro matte and it's really, really hard to glide all across your lips. So I want a, a color that is sort of the same as the all fired up. So I bought the cream machine, cream machine or something. This is lickable. This is my new current fave. I talk about it in my Idol Fit 3 favorite. This is Satin Matte, uh, Satin Red, sorry. This is also Retro Matte. This is Flat Out Fabulous. This is Impassionate Amplified. This is Russian Red. This is Matte Candy Yum Yum. Russian Red is also matte. This is one of the first lipstick from MAC that I ever bought this is luster milan mood this is something that my mom bought for me this is frost called chick and this is also frost meltdown and this is the 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 one that i showed you the previous one the matte embrace embrace me i'm sorry called embrace me it's sort of like candy yum yum only that is richer and it's sort of on this in the same lane as the flat out fabulous and the two down here i'm sorry that you guys can't really see it but these are the bobby brown color this uh, this is actually neon pink but it looks like red in here but i will show like swatches for you guys i mean on my blog or you guys can go search it online but it's actually a really really bright neon pink and this is called pink kiss it's like a very nudish 
pink color so moving on to the rest of my lipstick collection because i only have two of the archaic makeup uh archaic lipstick case so i just throw them all in in this um plastic makeup organizer that i bought from robinson mid valley so i'm just going to randomly pick any of the lipsticks. Starting off with the Inglot lipstick. This one is the only li Inglot lipstick that I own. I bought it during the Inglot warehouse sale and as you can see, I've been loving it so much. I have one from the lightest shade and then just a slightly pinkier shade and then this is like a, like a slightly true deep pink. And this is more of a bluish kind of red or maybe orange, but I think it's kind of blue. And this is just a deep plum color, like a vampy color. And this is the latest lipstick uh, that I block on my blog. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I just freaking love it and I can't wear, can't wait to collect all of it so yeah it's been my favorite and i'm wearing it right now at the at the beginning of the video that is what i'm wearing on my lip i have so many of it actually uh because they are freaking amazing and you cannot just have one you gotta have a lot so so far this is uh and whipped and warp i'm not really sure but i'm not really a fan of this color just because i don't think i can rock orange color so that's that and this is Milan freaking love this one and this is a uh, pink is just my favorite color of all time if if you watch the video closely you can see that I have a lot of pinks this is Addis Ababa and this one is my favorite soft matte lip cream ever this is the San Paolo I just love it it's like my lipstick my lip color but better kind of lip color if you get what i'm trying to say and these are my three revlon lip butters i have in uh, number 75 lollipop 90 sweet tart and 80 strawberry shortcake and these are my maybelline bold matte lipstick i know it's still in its packaging just because i thought i would collect them all first and then do a review on it and whatnot because the actual packaging is so cute like if i tear this plastic then there will not be any bold matte writing on it or whatsoever so that's why i'm keeping it i have in matte four five six and seven i believe there's still one more that i need to collect but we'll see if i would then this is just my yada lip balm this reminds me of michelle von lip cushion and it works it's pretty much the same it gives like a subtle tint to your lips and this is my favorite because it reminds me of michelle fawn and i love her so definitely a keeper these two are the only lipstick that i have from collection i have one more but i gave it to my mom so i have in number 12 valentine and number four plum perfection this is just a really nice plum uh subtle plum ish color which i really really love and this is just like a corally red kind of color which i also really love and this is just my uh only lip gloss lip glass from mac that i got in the um all about pinks uh box thingy so this is called unlimited style so yeah really really nice pink color really love it and then I have these two lipstick from Simply City. This is from their Sweetheart Collection. I have in Sunkiss Red and Juicy Orange. I really love the packaging, though I don't really like the formulation. It dries up the lips, it clings to the dry patches. But the colors are amazing, especially this one. This is, one, this is like my favorite color, but it dries up the lips and I don't really like it. And you can see how messy it is, so... I'll pass and then I have this lip tint uh, into it lip tint I have another one in the pink color but I can't find it right now and I really really love this one and here is another one of the soft matte lip cream and this is in Istanbul which is also my favorite uh, this is another of my uh, Maybelline lipstick this one I had for ages and this is called Pink Wink by Maybelline. This is one of the oldest Maybelline lip 
color that I own. And I have one from Collection also. This is sort of like the Soft Matte Lip Cream, but yeah it's it's kind of the same and i don't really know what this one is called but everything about it is the same even the smell is the same and then i just have like another backup of the maybelline lip eyes and just a seba, seba matte seba matte uh lip balm because it has spf so why not and this is just a crazy rumors hibiscus lip color that I got and this is the one and only benefit lip gloss that I got from an event I don't really like it but it is it's in sugar bomb as you can see and these are another simplicity lipstick that I own I really like this one it's it's like uh, lip gloss and lipstick all in one let's see if I can open it kind of broken so this is like um like a nude sort of color like a peachy oops like a peachy nude color and this is more of a plummy vampy color which i think is super gorgeous and down here we have a lip a lip gloss which is already expired but i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys anyway because the color is just amazing and the lip gloss color is amazing so i really like it hold on and then this is the lip gloss color of the nude one which is i think is so pretty uh this is from the lip and gloss lips and gloss collection this is sexy pink which is the plum one and this is soft passion and this is an Estee Lauder lipstick that my mom bought for me when she went to US is the Pure Color 55 Blushing Cream. Cream. I don't really know, but that is the color. I'm not really a fan of the color, but I think it's pretty alright. So yeah. And this is just a, a lip gloss stack that I got from for my birthday from Sephora. Thank you, Sephora. And this is another Yada Sweet Milky Tint that I also love. It gives such a nice, like, orangey tint to my lip. And this is another Simplicity Lip, lip uh, product that I have. This is Perchayala, which is a really gorgeous like a slightly more uh, on the darker side than this one and this one is Aku Cinta Padamu which is a really lovely like a Nicki Minaj kind of color oh so much love for this one as you can see oh pretty and this though is just a random lip product that I bought from like a like a makeup star or whatever but this is a uh, once you put it on your lips there's like no way out i mean you cannot take it off oh it's kind of like the same color you cannot take it off it will dry out super fast and uh if you wear it on your lips it's such a pretty color but if you wear it on your lips then it will cling to all of your dry patches and it will make your lips kind of dry and it have like a really stinky smell to it which i don't really love but i love that it stays put on your lips like a lip stain but it stains so badly and these are my mua lipstick i used to have like a lot of it but i don't really know where it went this is in the shade 12 like an orangey color and this is in the shade 16 like a sort of peachy uh pinky color this two are my two of my makeover lipstick i really like it the packaging is really really gorgeous as well i have one in belle de jour number 17 and viva la vegas in number four so you can see like how to open it it's like a magneted thing like that this is what Viva La Vegas. It's like a like a peachy pink color, sort of. I don't know how to describe, but that is how I'm describing it, which is really, really gorgeous. And this Val de Jour is just 
this is just me okay this is just my kind of lip color oh look at that it's super gorgeous and this is something that go way way back with me this is uh, throughout my high school year this is what I've been wearing all over my lips and I've been through like a lot of this little tiny thing and this are my chubby cheeks well it's not the clinic chubby cheeks but this is the Revlon uh, bomb stick this is from the original collection this is sweetheart Valentine and this is lipstick passionate purple color pink color super in love with it this is like my ultimate fave and this is from the matte collection and this are the colors i don't really need to swatch it for you guys because the colors are true to the packaging like if you see the packaging this is the color that gonna come off from the tube i'm telling you guys and this are the only lip uh pro lip liner that i own this is from i have like a lot from essence this is 07 cute pink this is from pastiche this is i don't know in the color of love i'm not really sure what's the color of it but it's pink and this is the nude one this is the red one called fem fatal fem fatal fem fatal yeah this is also the nude one i have two and this is the nyx Re retractable lip liner in bony and these are the only Intuit lipstick that I own. I bought it during last Hari Raya when they have the buy one free one sale. So I just gotta have them. So I have one in Rudy, Last Full Red, and also Pink Alarm. Let me just show you guys the color. This is like an orangey color sort of which I think is really, really pretty, but I don't really tend to wear colors like that. And that is in the color of Rudy. And this one is Lustful Red, which as you can guess, it's a red color. Now, can you guess what undertone this is? I'm guessing like sort of blue undertone to it. I'm not really sure. And this is the Pink Alarm. Oh, this is like the most beautiful pink color that I ever own. I don't know how to describe it to you guys. You guys just have to go to the dark store and see for you guys. Uh, this camera does not do its justice. So you guys have to go to the dark store and see the color for yourself. Okay, this is Pink Alarm from Intuit. You guys should check it out. It's like the most beautiful pink shade color that I ever that I ever seen in my entire life. This is the only NYX matte lipstick that I own. I have one in Shocking Pink and also Summer Breeze. Shocking Pink, as you can see, oh, it's kind of broken, but Shocking Pink is actually more of a Shocking Purple because it's more on the purple side. I'm not gonna swatch it since it's broken. And this one is what, Summer Breeze. It's like really gorgeous. This sort of pastel pink sort of color which is really really pretty and this is the lipstick color from which witch's pouch kiss me lipstick that I bought during the International Beauty Fair I believe it's from Korea that is the color really gorgeous as well as you can see that's the color and the packaging is super super cute as well but I've never heard of the brand before though, but I'm glad that I could give it a try. And these are the only two Essence lip gloss that I own. This is from the Circus collection. It's just a really beautiful plummy color. And this is from the uh, original collection, which is the Triple X Shine lip gloss. And this is another one of the NYX uh, lipstick. I'm not sure in which range, but it's just... A really gorgeous sort of on the red side color and this is the only L'Oreal lipstick that I own I'm so bummed that they changed the packaging because I thought of collecting all of it not all but I, it would be nice if I have like another one or two but they changed their packaging so and this is in the color of belly berry allure sorry 
Let me show you guys right there. It's like a really gorgeous uh, sort of pink, pinky red sort of color, which I think is super gorgeous. And this is the only Avon lip uh, stick that I have, and I am so glad that this is the one. This is the one that I own. This is from the Totally Kissable Lipstick SPF 15 Number no. 3 Pink Wink. And it's like a really, really gorgeous sort of subtle uh, corally color that I think would look absolutely gorgeous on everyone. I, when my friends like ask me to do their makeup, I really, really love uh, using this lipstick on their lips because it's just so gorgeous in person actually it looks so gorgeous in person and they really love the color too and this is another one of the revlon lipstick this is one of the oldest lipstick that i own as well this is in the color of number 12 cherry eyes from their revlon color burst lipstick collection it's just a sparkly red sort of color yeah, I use them a lot. It looks really, really gross right now. But. And last but not least, this is all. As you can see, it's empty. This is the last lipstick that I have in there. This is just another one of the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Amsterdam, which is also my favorite. Oh, love it. And this is all of the NYX. Uh, oh no, I have another one. This is another backup of the San Paolo one just because I really love it so I thought why not get the backup. And all of this is from the Extreme Shine lip color. I believe I have like another one but I'm not really sure where it went. But here I have, I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys first. And these are the swatches, sorry because of the bulu. But as you can see, all oh, the colors are so, so pigmented, so, so opaque. And this one is Absolute Red. This is Spicy. This is Strawberry Jam. And this is in the color of Candyland. As you can see, all oh, the colors are so, so amazing. But the only thing that I don't like about it, that it looks so horrible on my lips. I don't even know why, but it's, it, it doesn't look pretty at all but uh, oh my god if I'm allowed to marry those color I will I would I I want to the colors are just so amazing hi guys thank you so much for staying till the end of this video and I hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow my channel and if you guys have any questions any requests don't be afraid to contact me and I will be more than happy to fulfill it for you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in my next video bye